Hey, hope you're doing well. This is Edgar from Solo Marketer. And today's question is um, how to tag a contact in system.io. Um, there's several, several ways to do it. And yeah, I'll show you three. Um, so first of all, obviously you want to create the tag. So you want to go to contacts, tags, and uh, just create a new one up here and name it whatever. Um, lead magnet sign up whatever uh, whatever it might be in your case so create that so yeah once we have the tag ready uh there's three ways so in this case we'll use an example of a like a, an opt-in page sign up which would be something like this like a free lead magnet they put in their name and email and uh, and then they get tagged automatically as they sign up so the first way i would do it is i would go like once I'm inside this funnel, let's say this is like an example funnel, uh, I would click on the opt-in page, then I'll go to automation rules. Let's delete this one just to redo automation rules. Then you go to add rule, funnel form subscribed, and three dots over here, edit automation rule, add action, and then you do add a tag. And then you select that tag. So, you know, there might be like 20 tags, or whatever. So you just find the right one. In this case, it's the, this one. And save rule. So, yeah. And in this case, once they put in their name and email and get taken to the to the thank you page, the confirmation page, they will get tagged, which we'll test in a second. And uh, let me show you the second way I would do it. Let's delete this thing just so I can redo it. So there's no automation rule. I would also... That's how I usually do it, but either way is fine. I would go actually into the opt-in page. I would go to edit page. I would go to settings up top. Oh, sorry, not settings. My bad. You click on the button. Click on the button, and then you connect this button. Like, once they actually submit um, the form, the name and email, uh, there's an automation rule. Add action. Add a tag. And you select a tag, save rule, right? You can see it here. Once they sign up by inputting their details and clicking on the button, then they, they get tagged with this specific tag. Uh, obviously, save changes. That's always vital. And let's refresh. Let's test it out. Let's see whether uh, the contact gets added to our account and whether they have a tag. It's actually there. So let's do, yeah, let's just name, email, click on it. Thank you, page. So let's go to the account dashboard contacts. And you can see, yep, here's the here's the email I put in. If you click on it, name, email, and here is the tag. So here it's all good. And you can also... Um, if you don't want them to be tagged later down the line, whatever the reason might be, you can just click on it. That's it. And you save it. So that's the, the third way is a manual way in case there is something or, or you just created a new tag. You need to tag like specific people uh, like these are clients or whatever. You want to go in and tag this person as a client. Let's say you have a tag that says client and it basically all the tags will be listed here. And you just go in, you just click on this tag like manually and then you click save. So that's like a third way how you can manually go in each contact. You can go and tag them or you can just select specific contacts and do. Uh, yeah, select them with the check boxes and more actions, add tag and then you select the tag. So there's yeah. And then obviously add the tag to contacts. Uh, so there's like different ways. Two of those were automatic. Um, yeah, these two are manual. You can also do it like through automations, rules, but that's just, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. It's, there's a bigger chance of, of making a mistake. So yeah, you usually do it like the first or second option that I showed. I like the second option. I think there's less clicking, in my opinion. And, um, and you can also, one last thing, you can also tag people when they make a sale, not just when they sign up for a lead magnet. So you would go to the sales page and you would create an automation rule here, right? It would be the same thing. Only it would be like a purchase tag. Purchased 
you know, my gardening book or whatever for for the exam for example's sake. So yeah, those are kind of the options. And uh, and yeah, one last thing, uh, if you're interested in in shortening the process and getting like a like a sales funnel template similar to this one, it's just a like a system not IO template that that it's a one click download. So what you get is um, a funnel template that you can fill in. And put put in your own information. Um, you also get a uh, a confirmation email and a template that you can also there's like you know square brackets. It shows everything what what to put in where. And the third thing is a um, a course template that you can also connect. So it's just kind of like a basic just to show you a structure how a course would be structured in the system and an explainer video how to put it all together how to edit everything. So if you want a free template. Uh, bundle like that just go in the description below and 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 yeah and go check it out and yeah uh, i'll see you in the next video bye